the Illuminati, the Illuminati planned to use wars and revolutions to bring about the establishment of a one world government, one world government. the powers of which they, headed by the Rothschilds, the Rothschilds intended to usurp as soon as it was established, was established exactly in line with the United Nations plot of today. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. In 1798, Robeson published a book entitled, entitled Proof of a Conspiracy to Destroy All Governments and Religions. Governments and religion. But his warnings were ignored exactly as our American people have been ignoring all warnings about the United Nations and the Council on Foreign Relations, the CFR. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. In 1789, John Robeson warned all Masonic leaders in America that the Illuminati had infiltrated into their lodges. And on July 19, 1789, David Pappen, president of Harvard University, issued the same warning to the graduating class and lectured them on the influence Illuminism was acquiring on American politics and religion. It's a need for a new world order but it has different characteristics in different parts of, of the world. And to top it off, John Quincy Adams, who had organized the New England Masonic Lodges, issued his warnings. He wrote three letters to Colonel William L. Stone, a top Mason, in which he exposed how Jefferson was using Masonic Lodges for subversive illuministic purposes. Never before has a new world order had to be assembled from so many different perceptions. Now here is something or that will stun and very likely outrage many who hear this. There is documentary proof that our own Thomas Jefferson and Alexander Hamilton became students of Weishaupt's. Jefferson was one of Weishaupt's strongest defenders when he was outlawed by his government. And it was Jefferson who infiltrated the Illuminati into the then newly organized lodges of the Scottish Rite in New England. It is a big idea, a new world order. Only Masons who proved themselves internationalists and those whose conduct proved they had defected from God were initiated into the Illuminati. Thenceforth, the conspirators donned the cloak of philanthropy and humanitarianism to conceal their revolutionary and subversive activities. And the hope that each of us has to build a new world order. In the new world order. Weishaupt ordered Illuminists to infiltrate into the lodges of blue masonry and form their own secret societies within all secret societies. All secret societies of an overall strategy for America in this period when really a new world order can be created. Weishaupt died in 1830, but prior to his death he prepared a revised version of the age-old conspiracy, the Illuminati, which under various aliases was to organize, finance, direct and control all international organizations and groups by working their agents into executive positions at the top. In addition, while Karl Marx was writing the Communist Manifesto under the direction of one group of Illuminists, Professor Karl Ritter of Frankfurt University was writing the antithesis under direction of another group. The idea was that those who direct the overall conspiracy could use the differences in those two so-called ideologies to enable them to divide larger and larger members of the human race into opposing camps so that they could be armed and then brainwashed into fighting and destroying each other. It is a big idea, a new world order. Rothschild had spread a story that Napoleon had won that battle 
All stocks had plummeted down to practically zero. And Nathan Rothschild bought all the stock. Rothschild forced Britain to set up a new Bank of England, which he absolutely controlled. Exactly as later, through Jacob Schiff, he engineered our own Federal Reserve Act, which gave the House of Rothschild a secret control of the economy in the United States. So, in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, a new world is emerging. It is a new world order 